basically DFFR give is used to give the extra information. So EFF okay. and DFFR are, are both are same almost, but only thing is that in in EFF we can store large amount of data. Like for example, if we have a data uh, more than 4,000 characters or some somewhere around more more characters, then it is better to save in the EFF. Why? Because this structure basically in the backend tables it will be useful. Okay, I will I will give you the note for that. Okay, so as I said, the DFFs are available at assignment screen, people screen, job screen, position screen, department screen, element screen. So in lot of places, this DFF is available. So now I am showing the DFF at job level. Okay, we are using this job name is. The job DFF is called per job DFF. Okay. So each DFF have a, have some specific name, but if you just type job, I think it come. See, if you click on job, you, you will get different types of DFF available in the application. Job attributes, job family attributes, job offer descriptive flex field, job recreation descriptive flex field. So these two are used in global HR. Job attributes and job family attributes are used in global HR. Job offer, job offer descriptive flex field, and job recreation descriptive flex field. These are used in the recruitment module. You see, these are used in the recruitment module basically. Okay. So for now, I will show you the job attributes. So I will create a job attribute called maximum salary. Actually, maximum salary for this position. Okay. Okay. The data type will be number. So we need to give the data type and it will be stored in the attribute number four. I said no, that the tables. So for this uh, job also you will have tables. It will be stored in the in this in this column, the table column. And value set is salary. Here the display type is list of values. Okay, text box, and this is a required field. You know, there is a checkbox is there. You will have the business intelligent, BI enabled. Means if you check this, all these data will come in the reports. Okay, otherwise this field will not come, will be will not be displayed in the reports. So this is only for reporting purpose. So as of now, we are not using the reporting means uh, the reporting we will uh, later we will the technical team will use, but uh, this is the option we need to do whenever we are creating a value set. Okay. okay so we have saved this one. You see maximum value, it is there. So save it close. So for any flex fields needs to be appear, what we need to do, we need to do deploy flex field. So we got one error. We will see what is the error. So we will see whether it is available. It is not showing. It should show the job attribute should show. Okay. We will create one job and see. <coughs> so we have the job code is generated. Job family is not required. Job function the grade is not required. The additional information this show this one should show. Okay. I will see. For creating job, we will do like this. But the DFF, DFF and EFF is as per the client requirement. So, for for example, uh, in the for a for a particular job, they want the uh, timings, like the in time and out time should be there for a particular job. So basically, that was not given by the Oracle. So we need to uh, give that. We need to create a DFF for that. Everything came, but the maximum salary which we have created is not there here. See here it is the maximum salary. Okay, so this is the DFF which we have created, no? Yes, sir. So this, this, this is the additional information which we need to give. This is a slight availability. What is the assistant manager of this particular department? So these are the additional fields they are asked, okay? 
So this is the this is the way we need to create the GF DFF and it it needs to be displayed in some way. So as I said, the DFF are available at different levels. Okay. For example, if you want to see a, a DFF in a page, how we need to see? In if if, if there is any in any page, we need to go to the highlight flex field. Highlight flex field. Okay. So that is the step. So now we will see the EFF. Okay. It's really surprising <laughs> why it is not showing. Actually, it should show why I don't know why it is not showing. <laughs> see here it is there. It is showing here. It is not showing in this section. Not showing. But in other places it is showing the highlighting the flex fields. Okay. So let me raise an SR with Oracle. Why it is this is an application problem? So this is not our problem. Okay, so but that is the navigation. As I said, highlighting the flexil will will show you the uh, oh what are the available flexils in the in that page. And one more thing, if you want to know in which version you are working, so you need to go to the taskbar about this application. Okay. Here it will show 22D. Like actually, Oracle for every three months, for every three months, okay, they will update the uh, version. So it will change from like uh, 22D. Uh, earlier it was 22C, now it was 22D. So in, in a year, we will have four times if these changes will happen. Okay, uh, like okay. A. So first we will have like January, April, July, October, August. Okay, in four cycles we will have like a so we will have every version we will have like this. So since it is 22 do you know after that it will go to 23 a Okay, in January it will it will automatically update why we automatically update me So whenever we are doing we will find some bugs in the application means some features are not working properly that is the mm -hmm. bug so uh, for every for every three months it will be updated so now it is 22 d now now it now again it will go to 23 a so in this year it will go to 23 a 23 b 23 c 23 d after the 24 a so it will happen so whenever some bugs are there for a like bugs means the application is not working as expected so those bugs will be fixed by the oracle so they will relieve the bugs in every cycle so that's why they will put a cycle and if you raise any bug they will release in the next uh, next cycle next update cycle these are called the update cycles okay so it will be fixed so whenever you are working you need to see on which version you are working okay basically now i am working on 23 yeah but this application is in 20 uh, it will update automatically uh, yeah. for the better for it is for better for performance basically okay uh, there will be only fly, there will be only flight changes so nothing you will you will see in the uh, like in the application you will not find now not many changes uh, so one way like uh, the major changes sometimes they will add new fields so for a uh, like uh, new fields means sometimes they will add new fields new columns okay okay usually there are only small small changes will be there okay now we have all these fields the position job grade grade letter in some place they will add the grade uh, grade reporting or some new fields some new fields may come in the uh, next release so in the so what are the what are the patches what are the changes they are going to do they will release the document it they will have a release document so it is called release document i will show you so in that they will mention what are the changes that is going to going to happen in the current release so here it will mention so what are the changes they are going to uh, bring 
so all the all the changes they will give in detail so in global h in global hr what is happening so what are the changes they have worked the newly added attributes so last day work last day work they have recommended for new hire so these were new fields was there in the back end table okay so they will give in detail what are the changes going to happen in this release okay so see like like if they have they have given to what are the changes was there was there in the 22a 22b 22c 20c c this is 23a okay yeah. So they will they will release the document. What are the changes it will have, and what are the steps that that is required to enable those uh, uh, new future? If there is any new future, what are the steps we need to do? They will give in detail. Okay, so this is called the release document. So I will stop for today. Mm -hmm.